my lovelies. Welcome to the Dixie Bell main page. I am Krista with Litter to Glitter, and I am so glad that you guys are joining me. If you would please pop in where you're watching from. If you are a Dixie Bell retailer, please put in your shop link. Um, Can y'all hear me now? All right. Well, I've got the sound. Hopefully the sound is back. Is the sound back? No, you've got it turned up. No sound. All right. Give me your email. Okay. It's back. All right. Sorry about that. Microphone went out on me. You know, it's live. So what I was saying, you need to hush. My husband is here. The dogs are wrestling. My son's playing PlayStation. And we're live. We're at the house. Anything could happen. Sorry. So let me start over again. I am Chris with Glitter to Glitter. I am out of the Plaza Garland in uh, Garland, Texas. And if you see me go like this, it's I'm throwing stuff at Shorty. So don't forgive me. I'm not even going to ask for forgiveness. That's just us. Um, okay. So uh, Tanya is on. Um, Elizabeth is on. Ashley's on. And hey, Ann, Ann. If y'all don't know yet, Ann is back in Facebook jail, so she's watching me over on YouTube. Hey, All right, we'll do it this way. Do you need a battery? No, I don't know what's going on with my microphone. Let me go to my camera and my mic settings, audio, iPhone, microphone. Okay, so it should be back. Please tell me if my audio is back. I am going to throw these over there. Okay, yay! Let's try this for the third time, shall we? And so let's start this again. Military inspired piece. Hampton olive in silk, two coats. And then I have taken the black and white transfer from the vintage floral. They've got these cute little boots. And I did the boots here because I really did think that that was very military inspired. Now, for those of you that don't know, I am a veteran. Um, and also that is why I put this here on the colored sheets of the vintage floral the puppy. is the poppy and they'll be able to hear you. So watch your mouth. Since I don't have my mic on, everything is mic'd now. So watch your mouth. And so this is a red poppy and he kept calling it a puppy or a poopy earlier, but it's a red poppy. And as you know, many of you know, the American Legion, um, they'll come around and ask you to buy a paper red poppy as a donation for them. And so if you ever have somebody that comes up and asks you 
that is a symbol for the American Legion. And so that is on this piece as well. Before I get started on the front, I am going to show you um, the top because I did the top in glaze, but it's not glazed all over. It's glazed in an area and in, so I'm, I'm just gonna let it speak for itself, but that's gonna be the top. And then I will start glazing the sides or the front and we'll talk about that. So let me grab this. Oh yeah, you can see that here. Yeah, and so that is the top and that is in glaze. So that is in black glaze. And so let me get that back down. There is the front. Get this put back where it needs to be. There goes my dog walking in front of the camera. Love you too, Balder. So, hey, Dana. Dana Perry Ridge is on. Um, let's see here. Everyone, it was my honor to serve. Um, Leona said something about the closed captioning. I do not control that. Facebook does. I wish I could do that, but I can't. Uh, wait, Tony, Tony says she's waiting for her first order of paint to arrive on the 17th. Looks awesome. Amber says she loves that top. Uh, Wanda says, yes, I love this piece. Thank you guys so much. Let me get this. I'm back. waiting for the first order of paint, paint on the 17th. 17th. So I guess that she's new to Dixie Bell and trust me, you're going to love it. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. So, all right. So what I'm going to be doing, just so you know, this was done in Hampton Olive and Silk. And then where these transfers are in this block here and on this one drawer, I have sealed over top of my transfers with satin clear coat. You do not want to put glaze directly over top of your transfers. It can make them crack and bubble. So you want to make sure that you put some sort of protectant, a polyacrylic water-based top coat over top of your transfers before you use gator hide or if you use um, glazes, anything that's oil-based, like if you want to use your no pain gel stain to do a wash over top, you want to make sure that it is, this is not food, Balder, go away. Um, Shorty, get your dog. Balder, um, mom don't need help painting. He likes to help. So, um, you need a TikTok. that piece actually looks kind of like mud puddle on her side. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Because I was going to say that that's definitely Hampton Olive. Hey, you imagine a drive -in, bro. Oh. So, let's get what I'm going to do is I am going to be using more black glaze to just kind of muddle and dirty up the piece a little bit, give it a little bit of aged look. So, Let's get started, shall we? Because we've had enough technical issues today. What else could go wrong? Don't answer that. It dries. That color that I showed you up on the top, it dries black. So I'm not looking for an all over coverage. I'm looking for more of a streakier, dirtier, muddled, and not an all over. So in some areas, it's going to be a little bit more. In some areas, it's going to be a little bit less. We got Zan Walker watching from Tallahassee. Florida. Hey, Zan. Oh, my girl's watching. Hey, Zan. And Amber Demakowitz is on. And Sue's on. So that's what we're going to be doing is we're just going to kind of be, um, see where it's blue right now. And as we go along and it starts to dry, it will start turning black. Dana Perry Ridge. Is Dana Perry Ridge on? That's my, uh, you know, Dana and I have actually met in person. She, about a year ago, I just sent her the, it came up on my Facebook feed. And uh, that about a year ago, she won a contest in our store. And she came up and met me because she is in Texas. And so I got to meet her. Hey, keep the puppy wrestle session down. Perry Elaine. 
Oh, it's Carrie on. Hey, Carrie girl. Isabella, Watching you from south of you. Yeah, she's in. Um, is, she, it, is it Isabella Hamilton? Oh, North. Isabel is from Australia. And so y'all pop in some comments for Shorty because, you know, he's sitting there taking notes and reading off comments. Honey, I still think it was funny the other day when I was live and they asked if you were a creepy stalker and I had to explain you were my husband. Actually, I had to explain he's a creepy stalker, but he's my husband too. Um, so just like I said, I'm just going to kind of brush over and with glaze, you can always layer again and make it darker, but you can't lighten it up. So if you wanted it lighter, what you can do is go back. If you wanted it smoother and not a streaky finish, you can go back with an applicator pad and smooth it out. Um, that's not the look I'm going for. I am going for a kind of a road horn battle inspired been through the muck Donna there's that hot military mama who said that uh, Donna 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 Trubeau hey yeah. girl there's that hot military mama I'll take that baby take that all day long hey Stacy <laughs> is Stacy a coin on too? Yes, yeah, she's like, there's no explaining short. Yeah, that, that is the truth, girl. That is the truth. So I will show you guys the top again here in just a minute. I did in black glaze. Um, and for those of you that are familiar with the military, you'll understand its significance. It's not a unit patch or anything. It just kind of, to me, and my service um, kind of fit with everything. I don't know if y'all heard what my husband just said to the dog. He said to, what was it, Chewler or whiskey? whiskey? Whiskey. He says, stop chewing on me, huh? Stop biting me. I'm not a chew chiller. Uh-huh. And so I'm also going to get over this um, I was explaining earlier that the black and white boots over here and this poppy are available in the vintage floral transfer from Dixie Bell in the bells and whistles and as you see you might see me start going over areas again because it glaze does dry pretty quickly and so I can get to the ends. I'm just going to pull my drawer out a little bit and go right over the ends. Cynthia Baxley. Oh, Cynthia Baxley's on. Hey there. Um, so let me show you guys the top. For those of you that are just getting on, let me give this a second to dry. But I think that y'all can see already how it's darkening up from just the Hampton Olive and Silk to where it where you're glazing and so yes we've had a lot of questions about can glaze be used over top of silk yes it can we're doing it right now so let me show you guys the top again oh oh my knee getting older boy so that is the top and that is done in black glaze as well show that for just a few more seconds and then i'll put my camera down and get back to working so okay ba -ba -da -da. so you can see the difference as it's darkening up already and i will be able to go back and put more glaze where i want Oh, mama likey. What do y'all think? Tell me in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. So let's see. Let me get to comments real quick. Uh, you know, Tammy. From watching on my phone, baby, I really, it's hard to kind of see. Is it? Can you turn on the light a little bit. See Let me it, see if it shows up better with the ring light. Try, Give me just a second. Light for a second. Oh. Just so they can really see the 
see if it shows a little bit. Does it show any better without the ring light? Or I can pull in real quick. I'm delayed on my phone for a second. So so let me get let you guys. Carrie says she loves it. Amber says she's loving it. I'm really loving this piece, Tammy says. So there you go. There's an up close. This is without any of the glaze. This is Silk Hampton Olive. And this is Silk with black glaze over it. And try showing the top one more time about the light. See the children a little better. Okay. Oh, my technical guy. Notice he didn't get up to help with the camera movement or anything. But that is the top done in glaze without the ring light. So that is black glaze. Yeah, you see, that looks a lot better without the light. All right. So we'll go lightless. And then I will do this top. And I'm not going to go really, really dark tonight because I'm going to tell you why. I'm probably going to let this completely dry. Maybe on the, the doors itself, I might do a little bit more. Because what I want to do is I have got my hands on a military issue stenciling kit. And so this is what they issued us like in boot camp. Not sure if y'all are aware. No, Angie, up top is not a transfer. Um, up top is glaze um, that I glazed up there. This is a transfer, these boots. And this is a transfer. Both of these transfers are available in the vintage floral pack from the Dixie Bell Bells and Whistles. Um, so what I am going to be doing is after this completely dries, I am going to be, I think, I haven't completely decided yet, but I think on this drawer, like right about here, here, and probably here in the middle and maybe over here, I'm thinking about putting in that military stencil kit using glaze, the black glaze, but doing it heavier like the top is putting like um, duty, honor, country or something like that on these drawers. I haven't decided what to put on them yet. And so that's why I have not. Um, I didn't do it before, but if that's what my next step is, is I need to decide what phrases three phrases that I should put on the, um, on the drawers. So if you can think of three military terms, uh, duty, family, country, um, uh, anything like that, pop them in the comments and you might see them up on this piece. So you can still put some on the side too. Right? Yeah, I can still put some on the side. I can either, I was thinking about actually doing, um, My drivers like to use too easy. Um, my, I was thinking about doing, um, some gave, all gave some, some gave all across the whole drawer or up here on the top. Like I said, I haven't decided what phrases I'm going to use yet. So I wanted to get this glaze on first to help me decide what, um, phrases that I'm going to be using next. Add your name in there somewhere. I don't know if anybody that's going to buy it with the name Barrera. Well, Carrie, if I put my name on this, does that mean I get to keep it, honey? And he just looks at me and go, no habla inglés. Man. Truth, justice, honor, honor, life, liberty, never forgotten. Never forgotten would be amazing today. Maybe I'll do never forgotten here and then like duty, honor. Um, I could even do one, like one here, one there, one here, something across and I can do more on the top. So keep those coming. What you think? Carrie says I should keep it. I think some gave all would look great on the top. Then Honor, duty, and country on the drawers. What happens if you put something like our colors never run or something? Well, our colors never run would be good, but I would do that on a like red, white, and blue piece. I don't think I would do it on the uh, green. Like on our, the one that you did with uh, Johnny Cash? But, yeah, maybe my Johnny Cash piece I would do that on. Um, if y'all haven't seen the Johnny Cash piece I've done, I will 
take some pictures of that tomorrow. Never says that that is what my father says. All give some, some give all. Yeah, all gave some, some gave all. And so that was one of the things that we said when we were in the military or when I was in the military. That was one of the... I got threatened. What now? Sure, you don't make me drive two hour plus to thump you. Who was that? <laughs> Carrie. Oh, Carrie. Honey, keep threatening her so she comes. If that's what it's going to take to get you up here smacking my husband, Carrie. No, you know what? It would look really good in the shop. It would look good in the shop. But or it look better in my bedroom. I could put my guns and stuff in there. Do you want this piece? I'll put my guns and stuff in there, yeah. Okay, well, if you want this piece, then I'll since it's first since Shorty says he wants it, maybe I'll put private shorty on it. He ain't getting any better bigger pay grade than that. He private E2. That's it. So Mon is on from Australia. Hey Mon. Oh man, I miss me some Mon. Yeah, it's morning in Australia there. You're 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 probably enjoying me with your morning cup of coffee. So um I know we've got to had a bunch of people jump on and Carrie says, yes, private shorty. Yes. So let me recap what we've done. Um Carrie says no E1. That means you're a recruit. You ain't even made it past boot, buddy. Um love it. Tammy says, oh, love it. Private Shorty. So what we've done is this is uh, painted with a base coat of Hampton Olive. And what I did was I used the boots and the poppy from the uh, vintage floral designs from the Bells and Whistles line. And then after I put the transfers on, I made sure that I sealed this drawer and I sealed this entire area here with the clear coat in satin. There's a reason you do that. There are chemicals and stuff that you do not want to put um, directly over top of your transfers, like your oil-based stuff, uh, your gator hide. If you want to gator hide your piece, like if you put transfers on the top and you want to gator hide, make sure that you use a at least one or two coats of a clear coat, polyacrylic water-based clear coat to seal those down. Because if I were to use glaze, not all the time, I'm not saying this is going to happen every time, but I don't risk it. I go ahead, I seal it, and then I'll use my glaze, my gator hide uh, after it dries and um, all that after it dries. So if I wanted to use the no pain gel stain, which is oil-based, I would make sure that all this is clear coated first and that's what I've done. So, and on the top, what I've done, I'm going to show it again, is that this is in glaze. So the top is not a transfer. The top is in black glaze. So let me show you guys that again, for those of you that are just joining. And so that is in black glaze. Here it says, love that the fact you included a single poppy. Yes, because, you know, the poppy, if you ever have a veteran come up to you um, and ask you, they make the paper red poppies and ask you to buy them. And so that is the, um, this is what this uh, signifies to me, is the organizations out there for the military that do support veterans when we're out. Um Somebody said they can't hear me again. So, um, again, so that, 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 okay, I'm going to push this in because I need to get, push my drawers back in. Honey, you're not getting my flags, are you? What? Oh, I thought you were digging for my folded flags. No. Okay. I just hear you in there doing something and that scares me when you do that. And so I've gone through and I see places that I want it darker. Like I said, with glaze, you can't get it thinner, um, but you can get it thicker. So somebody says that they're having Tammy. 
Um, and so that's what I'm doing is that's why I put it on very, very thin. I'm using my Dixie Bell premium chip brush and I just see areas that I want a little bit more in. And so that's what I am doing. I want you to show this. Oh, you, the records. These are from. You want to do that while I paint, you know, cause that's what this is about. Hey guys, I wanted to show you these real quick, okay? This is some records that I picked up. It says, here are, uh, here's, here's the veterans, veterans played January, February, March, April, May 16th, 1948. Well, I have from January all the way to December. Right, except and for one. Some of the, for, except for one, but some of these, not this one, but I have some that are actually signed by some of the soldiers back in 1948. And I had one, I was showing them to, uh, what do you call that, where y'all go drink all the, 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 the American Legion? American Legion. And uh, I had them there, and some, uh, some of the older guys that were there actually recognized some of the names that weren't some of the records. So I went ahead and donated it, and they actually bought a frame, and they put it up. Uh, there, but it's cool. I got from, I had from January all the way to December, and I only have. You got eleven. One. Yeah, yeah. You you donated one to cool, the American Legion. Cool. Yep, and we um, a lot of times when we are doing cleanouts, or we'll get in a piece of furniture, um, we'll get military ribbons, and um, it's definitely not honorable to. I see them in pawn shops all the time. And that just turns my stomach. So we take those and give those to the American Legion or the VFW. Anyway, I just thought I would share that because they're for 1948. Yep. And I actually got soldiers and stuff and names on them. Yep. You're a good egg, Charlie Brown. Oh. And so once I get Shorty's name on this, and I figure out what I'm going to do with the top. Um, I know I want to add some more to the top. I just haven't figured out what yet. Hey, but to be honest with you, I'd rather have your name on there than the time that you serve. You want, you want my name? Oh. I want your name and the time that you serve. Oh, and my, my dates of service? Yeah. Okay. I don't want my name. I didn't serve. That wouldn't be right. That's true. Yeah, Shorty didn't serve. I don't think that'd be respectful. Yeah, and it, it, yeah, you're right. Oh, well, that would be. Do me a favor. What? Since I don't know what's going on with Troy, can we put? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know or not. Carrie says that that gave her chills and tears. I'm so glad you're doing something for the military. Ma says she's on. Um. She's on YouTube. Um, Cynthia Baxley says she's an army brat. My late husband was Air Force. Uh, Shorty's asked me to say is that we have a very good friend of ours who is a veteran. And um, he's adopted brother to me. And he's been Shorty's best friend for a very long time. And um, he is on a respirator right now with uh, COVID and not expecting uh, to make it. So if y'all are those type of people, we appreciate any and all was Navy, thoughts. Baby. Huh? Was Navy. Yeah, I know he was Navy. So if y'all see me pulling out a, a Navy piece here soon, you know why? Um, Troy's a special guy. And, uh, so here we go. Uh, look, Gary, uh, my husband, James, is also a, a disabled vet. Yeah, I know that uh, Carrie's husband, I, he was Army, I believe. And so I'm just going back and still darkening up. And that's the thing with this when you're working with glaze is that you don't have to put it on real thick first time around. Put it on, let it sit for a minute, and then step back from your piece to see where you want more added. 
and go from there. So, thank you for all the prayers. Yeah, th guys, thank you for prayers. Thank you for that. Um, and so I think what I'm going to do is leave this just as it is for now. I might go back and do um, another layer of glaze. Um, but I want to get those stencils on first. Like I said, I got it, my hands on a uh, military issue stencil kit like they issued us in boot camp. And so I'm going to be using that kit to put some phrases on this. And um, give me just one second, because like I said, I am working from the house. Um, I actually played with the idea. I want to see if I can get light over there and it doesn't look like I can. So I'm going to have to swing my table here. But I actually played earlier and I will go back and paint this side again um, with the silk because what I did was I played with the idea and it's going to be beautiful on another piece, but not on this piece. I don't know if y'all can see the difference between here. Let me get this down. Then you got too much light from the kitchen and everything is putting a reflection. Okay. So this is actually metallic, the moonshine metallic in the deep woods over top of silk. You can do that too. It does give it a little bit of a shimmer. Now I would do this with the, with the deep woods if I was doing a glam piece. Like say I was doing a, um, a pinup girl inspired, you know, in the 50, 40s and 50s, the pinup girls okay, were... You keep that one, I get that kind of... You want the one with the pinup girls? <laughs> this one's mine? Okay. So Shorty wants the one with the moonshine metallic in Deep Woods and the um, pinup girls once I find a piece and do that idea. I'll find one for you. You're going to find me a piece and I'll know. make you the pinup girl? Okay. Right. You can have the pinup girl and I'm going to keep... Y'all heard him. He said I can keep this. So this one's now mine's. This piece is mine's now. So, um... <laughs> Oh, uh, Ma says that Lucy hears me. Lucy's her dog and Lucy loves me. So, um, guys, uh, that's what we're going to do. Carrie says figures shorty. <laughs> so, uh, that's where we're at guys. And so this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and before the Keep end tonight you. is I'm going to glaze this, this side tomorrow. I will paint repaint that side with the silk and then do the glaze and then figure out what I am going to be. So keep putting up um, your ideas for the phrases that we should do. I know I really like the um, all gave some, some gave all. I love that. And so let me know um, what other sayings, uh, family, duty, country, um, Never forgets a good one, another good one. And um, Mon says, super cute piece, by the way. Thank you, Mon. Um, yeah, I have this saved so he can't go back on saying you can keep it. Absolutely. So Isabel's on. And guys, I hope that, um, um, you know, it is the 20th anniversary. Shorty and I both have on our Never Forget shirts. Um, and much love to you guys. No, wait, and wait, wait, wait. what? No, you're not going to show my pinup pictures. Okay, we got to go now. Bye. No, look. No, honey. no, look. do not do I that. I want this one.